This tutorial is going to go over a Crestron podium. First, let's take a look at the cables that you'll find on a Crestron podium. This is an Ethernet connection and it provides a direct connection to the internet. You may make this connection from your laptop. This is a VGA cable. Take a close look at the pins and make sure none of them are bent or missing. If any of the pins are damaged, this cable will not transmit video. This is an audio jack and it's used in conjunction with a VGA to transmit sound. This cable is called an HDMI cable and this transmits both video and audio from your laptop. This is a mini display port and this cable transmits audio and video from an Apple Mac. On a Crestron podium, you can control the lights right from the podium. If you want to turn off all the lights in the rooms so your students can focus on your display, you can just control those lights right here. If you want to connect a device to the power, you have that option right on the desktop podium. And if you want to control the projector screen, you can do that right from the desktop podium. On the Crestron podium, simply select a source to be displayed and the projector will turn it on. Please note that it takes a moment for the projector to turn on. You'll know that it's on because the projector lights will turn on underneath the projector and you'll see um, a light displayed from the projector onto the screen. For example, I want to use the Podium's built-in PC, so I simply press the PC. Uh, if you want to connect with the VGA or HDMI cable that's on the desktop Podium, select VGA or HDMI. If you wish to connect with the mini display port, just simply select display port. And if you want to connect using the built-in AirPlay device, simply select AirPlay. Other important uh, features on the Crestron podium to note are this video mute button. This is a great button to use to stop displaying an image through the projector temporarily. And this is useful when you want to go quickly between using the whiteboard and the projector without having to turn it off. Audio mute is a button you would use to mute audio, for example, if you're showing a video and want to make a point about something in the video. And just a final reminder, you definitely don't need a remote to use anything on a Crestron podium. If you would like to connect with a Mac device using the AirPlay that's in the room, you will then navigate to the AirPlay icon located on your screen and select the room you're in. If you're not sure of the room you're in, it's written on the um, it's written on the desktop podium. I'm in Miguel 307, so I selected the AirPlay for that room. Then a four-digit code will appear on the projector screen. I will enter that into my Mac laptop hit OK, whatever is displayed on my laptop will be projected on the screen in the classroom. If you have a Windows device, go to the Air Parrot icon on your laptop. This is, is what's going to allow you to connect through AirPlay. And once you've double clicked on the Air Parrot icon, a screen will come up and allow you to select the, the AirPlay for the room you're in. Once you've selected that, a four-digit code will appear on the screen. You enter that code into your laptop, and whatever is displayed on your laptop will be displayed on the projector screen. When you're done, please remember to select the off button to turn the projector off. And note that um, it takes a while for the projector to actually turn off because there's a fan that needs to run to cool down the whole unit. It's really important to remember to turn the projector off because it extends the life of your bulb. Remember if the bulb burns out, the projector will no longer work for anyone and they're very expensive to replace. 